the marketers of Plume Motor Spirit and Mobile Oil present Mobile Quest 1952. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, a warm welcome to the Vacuum Theatre. Tonight's is the 11th heat of the 1952 Mobile Quest, presented by the Vacuum Oil Company and your local mobile service station. And tonight's three singers come from New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia to vie with each other in song over a vast network of 57 stations in Australia, as well as over Radio Australia to our troops in Japan. And now here is the conductor of the Australian Symphony Orchestra and director of Mobile Quest, Hector Crawford. <laughs> Our first singer tonight, competitor number 31, is a mezzo-soprano from East Preston, Victoria. Ladies and gentlemen, Loris Sutton. <laughs> well, it's good to see you again, Loris. And Loris was a Mobile Quest grand finalist last year, and she went on tour with other grand finalists. Um, what do you remember most of that tour, Loris? Well, Mr. Curtis, I think it was when I caught bad throat the day before the concert in Sydney. Oh, that was bad luck. What happened? Were you able to sing? Just. I drank bottles of glycerine and borax. <laughs> what a horrible mixture. Ooh, ooh. Was it horrible? Oh, nasty. Oh, well, a singer's life's obviously not all beer and skittles. Uh, it worked all right, did it? Perfectly. Oh, no. <laughs> not perfectly? No, not quite. Mm -hmm. Although, I did feel as I sang quite well there. Did you? Well, it's wonderful what medicine will do, isn't it? <laughs> well, now we'd like to hear you sing. Laura Sutton of Victoria will sing Del Riego's composition, Oh, Dry Those Tears. Del Riego was sung by Loris Sutton of Victoria, competitor number 31 in the Vacuum Oil Company's 1952 Mobile Quest. Now, before we hear our next singer, let me give you two very good reasons why you should always drive into your local mobile service station for Plume, Australia's popular and economical petrol. 
Behind Plume are the vast resources of the world's greatest oil fields, refineries, research laboratories, and tanker fleet. Therefore, you're guaranteed the highest quality, and you're assured of continuity of supply. You'll go further on Plume, because Plume is the best buy by miles. And now here's our second singer, competitor number 32, a bass baritone from Hurstville, New South Wales. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Light. Alan Light was here last year, and since then he's had a very strenuous season in Melbourne and Sydney with the National Theatre Opera. Um, I believe I'm not to mention your dahlias this year, Alan. No, please, please. My wife's still a little touchy on the subject. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, now, uh, what's your news? News? Mm -hmm. well, well, I've just bought a car. No, you rich singer. <laughs> no, very, very second-hand. Oh. My son calls it the original old croc. So you can get an idea what it's like, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> yes. But, but what's wrong with it apart from old age? Well, now look. Mm -hmm. It'd be much quicker if I told you what's right with it. <laughs> Isn't that bad? It's worse. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, all I can say is the person you bought it from couldn't have used mobile oil. <laughs> Obviously not. Well, now, you'll know better when you get a new car. That's huh? right. Right. Let's hear you sing. Alan Light has chosen for his ballad that grand old number from Jerome Kern's showboat, Old Man River. sung by Alan Light, competitor number 32 in the Vacuum Oil Company's 1952 Mobile Quest. And now we present our third competitor, number 33, a soprano from Warradale, South Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, Eve Moyes. <laughs> now, Eve Moyes is the only married entrant this year from Adelaide. Actually, she's Mrs. Harold Petman, the mother of two sons, nine and five years old. Well, how do you manage to find time for singing, Eve, of that family to look after? Very well. The boys are at school now, mm. so I can give more time to singing. Yes. When I was married, I just made my debut. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, it was, on, it was on the night 
Japan declared war. Was it? Mm. Of course, marriage meant the singing had to take second place. Yes, naturally. And now you're back into it again. Did you find it hard to pick up after such a long spell? Oh, no. Mm. I more or less kept it up. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done it without the help of my parents. Uh, good on them. Are you going to keep it on, singing? Mm, definitely, yes. <laughs> Frankly, I'd like to sing as long as there's breath in my body. Well, I hope you can. It's an admirable ambition. And apropos, you'd better not expend any more breath in talking, so let's have your ballad. Ladies and gentlemen, Eve Moyes of South Australia sings The Shepherd's Song by Edward Elgar. song by Ed Eldar was sung by Eve Moyes of South Australia, competitor number 33 in the Vacuum Oil Company's 1952 Mobile Quest. And so we've reached the halfway mark. Each competitor has sung once. Loris Sutton of Victoria, Alan Light of New South Wales, and Eve Moyes of South Australia. In a few moments they'll sing again, and then you can make your judgment as to tonight's winner and compare your choice with that of the adjudicators. And now here's a winner for you. Wherever you drive, whatever you drive, you'll find that you'll go further on Plume, Australia's popular and economical petrol. For better motoring, always fill up with Plume at your local white mobile service station, under the sign of the Flying Red Horse. And now, Loris Sutton of Victoria comes forward again. And this time she'll sing the aria, O Mio Fernando, from La Favorita, by Donizetti. I miss thee to him, with him, when him, Fernando, the husband of Yet what thou foresee me As all this sudden gladness Treat him to wed him And life so free 
1952 Mobile Quest, Loris Sutton of Victoria. Competitor number 32 will sing again now, Alan Light of New South Wales, who's chosen an aria from The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. Now your days of philandering are over. 
Now your days of philandering are over, and you're straying from flower to flower. You no more as a haters can rover, play it on this with each pretty maid. You no more as a haters can rover, play it on this with each pretty maid. Now put off you each fine peak of feather. Doff that hat and get down here together. And those locks so luxuriant must vanish. From those cheeks in the roses must fade. From those cheeks in the roses must fade. Now put off each peacock feather. Drop that hat too. And those locks so luxuriant must vanish. Now your days of philandering are over. And you're straying from flower to flower. You no more as a paper can rover. Play it on his pretty, pretty maid. You no more as a paper can rover. Play it on his pretty, pretty maid. Call me warrior's grim carousing. Long mustache and beard imposing. I'll your nap and gun to shoulder. Head up, lift. Head, you go bolder, shining helmet, a scarf of splendor, lots of fame, but profit slender, but profit slender, but profit slender. Instead of dance by flowery border, watch a bit like his order. Over mountain, over valley. Through the rain and mud you sally till the trumpet goes to battle And with shells and cannons rattle ranks of flying comrades Dying of your prowess shall be told Now put off each peacock feather Now put off that gay hat too Now put off those brown tresses Now put off those scarves and those graces Now your days of philandering are over and you're straying from flower to flower. You no more as a paper can rover. Play a dawn is with each pretty maid. You no more as a paper can rover. Play a dawn is with each pretty maid. You shall have a life of glory. There will be no brave and bold. You shall have a life of glory. There will be no brave and bold. There will be no brave and bold. There will be no brave and bold. The theatre tower number 32 in the Vacuum Oil Company's 1952 Mobile Quest was Alan Light of New South Wales. Now competitor number 33, Eve Moyes of South Australia, comes on to sing her final number. It's the well-loved aria from Madame Butterfly by Puccini, One Fine Day. Oh, 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 oh,
promise, and you can ask what you say. You will call the from the distance. I, without answering, all myself wildly conceal. I'll be to tease him, and a bit so as enough to South Australia has just sung One Fine Day by Puccini. The other two singers tonight were Loris Sutton of Victoria and Ellen Light of New South Wales. And on the performance of these three young singers, the adjudicators are now making their decision, which will be announced shortly. Now, meanwhile, here's a decision you should make. Give your car the wings of the flying red horse. Give it Australia's most popular and economical petrol. Give it plume. Behind plume are the vast resources of the world's biggest oil fields, refineries, research laboratories, and tanker fleets, your guarantee of quality and continuity of supply. So remember, when buying petrol, always go to your local mobile service station for plume. Plume is the best buy by miles. And now, here is the adjudicator's decision. The winner of the 11th heat of the Vacuum Oil Company's Mobile Quest is the mezzo-soprano from Victoria, Loris Sutton. broadcast of the 11th heat of the 1952 Mobile Quest was compared by John Curtis. The broadcast presentation was by Roland Strong and the Australian Symphony Orchestra was conducted by Hector Crawford, director of the Vacuum Oil Company's Mobile Quest, which comes to you each week with the compliments of the Vacuum Oil Company and your local mobile service station. <laughs> Remember, you'll always get the best from the plume pump. <laughs>